So let's pull into frame and that's looking good. Hey everyone, Alexander back at you with another video. Today we are talking the 50 millimeter RF mount cinema lens from Canon. This is a T1.3, giving me some nice depth of field. We're filming on the lens right now, which is showing you what the image quality looks like. Not much different from the stills photography lens that I've been using for the past couple of years, the L series 1.2 50 millimeter, which is one of my favorite lens. So why did I purchase a lens that doesn't really make much of a difference in the image quality? Number one is longevity and the form factor. Uh, the longevity is a major concern with me and all my glass because I uh, dread those days when they're coming that the autofocus motor dies in my 50 millimeter and I have to get a new lens or get it repaired or something like that. In the cinema lens, you can expect the cinema lens to last much longer, decades as opposed to years because there's no motorized functions within the lens. I can easily pull focus, adjust my iris on the lens housing itself on the metal lens housing as opposed to the plastic housing on here. I've had this lens a couple of years and it's already getting dinged up, scratched up. The cinema lens, sure, it can get dinged up, scratched up as well, but they're gonna last much longer. They're gonna be a much more durable lens. They're also going to have the same form factor if you stick with the same Canon lineup. Millimeters from the 16 millimeter all the way to 135, and they're all gonna have the same form factor, making swapping lens on set or on a gimbal or on a, uh, when you have your camera rigged up in some crazy fashion like a car mount, much easier as opposed to swapping out lenses with different form factors, sizes and weights and that, that sort of thing. So having that same form factor is a huge uh, multiplier on set. Number two is the challenge. For me, I wanted that challenge of being able to pull focus, getting more of those cinematic techniques involved in my workflow, in my storytelling process. Also working with a crew, I've recently paired up with some friends who have uh, been helping me out on some projects and we are uh, slowly but surely building a crew that can pull focus, that can set up lighting, that can work with the grip equipment and all that. So having that challenge and applying those cinematic techniques to your workflow is worth it for me and really why I pulled the trigger on getting a cinema lens. The ability to pull focus either manually or utilizing a remote focus pull is also a great asset on set. If I have someone designated to pull focus, I can focus more on the shot rather than tapping my screen and hoping that my autofocus works. So being able to manually pull that focus and slowly pull in, as you can see here, I can just slowly but surely pull in my focus, giving it much more of a cinematic workflow as opposed to having my, my autofocus going crazy like this. Additionally, a lot of cinema cameras don't utilize autofocus, so autofocus isn't even an option. And I knew at some point in time, I'm gonna make the jump to a bigger and better cinema camera. So why not invest in a cinema lens because autofocus won't even be a factor to begin with. If you're dabbling in cinematography or you've been a videographer for a while and you're trying to make that jump into telling a more cinematic story or bringing more of a cinematic technique to your workflow, this is something that's been on my mind for some time as I've been trying to get more into short films and documentaries and I knew I needed to make the jump at some point. I didn't need to, but I wanted to, to get a cinema lens. As you up your game in the cinematography world, you are going to have to start relying on a crew and that's become more and more evident for me. As an introvert, I love just doing run and gun, lone wolf stuff, maybe having one friend along, but it's become more apparent as I up my workflow, doing interviews and documentaries and music videos that a crew is necessary. So I am also utilizing the manual focus features to be able to remotely pull focus by having an AC, someone that can assist in pulling focus so I can worry about the shot as a cinematographer or a DP on set. Last but not least, as silly as it sounds, is the looks and aesthetic. If I show up on set with a smaller plastic photography lens, even though this is a $2,800 lens, uh, it's not going to look as good as having a cinema glass. Uh, I know that sounds silly, but really those do make a difference. Um, people admire gear <laughs> for some reason, because gear uh, is, uh, they associate it with better quality and better this and that. When in reality, it's your techniques and your story that should be uh, applied first before considering your gear. I gotta say, pulling focus is a skill I took for granted for so long because I have amazing autofocus in the R5. I'm filming on the C70 right now, which is not very good autofocus, but being able to manually pull focus, I give my hats off to those guys. These are the few reasons why I ultimately made the purchase on a cinema lens. If you'd like to know more about my experience, check out my YouTube channel and I'll uh, see you in the next video.